when you do what you say you're going to do, you start gaining trust and respect from especially the people you want to keep. Because think about it. Is your culture running people off? Do you get good people and then you're surprised when they don't stay? Anytime we lose somebody, we analyze why. Was it most of the time now what it is, is um, it was a bad hire. And so we didn't do an adequate job of screening them in that uh, interview process and not hire them in the first place. But here's the thing, these days, as compared to the old days, the old days I used to think that I could change them and maybe influence them and get a better result. And that is crazy talk. Um, <laughs> If you have employees who kind of show you who they are, especially in those early days of training, and that what they show you does not fit your culture, you need to get rid of them fast because they're on their very best behavior and you're only asking for trouble if you let them stay. There's a quote from Tony Robbins, and I don't remember it exactly, but the gist of it is basically that it's not, you know, that new hire that's going to destroy your company. It's the, it's the bad hire that you allow to stay. And that is so true. You can do your company irreparable harm by keeping people who you should not keep. I, I just truly believe that's probably the biggest error that you can make. And here's the thing, when you do start to believe that and you do start to let people go like you should, that you know you should, then you gain so much trust and respect from your employees. And the other thing that happens is um, people start to believe you. So they're going to either toe the line and do what they're supposed to do, or they'll probably end up quitting before you fire them. Because now they're like, she's, she really means it. She's going to fire me. And so they'll make up some excuse and they'll leave you, but it's because they know that the writing's on the wall, that you're going to fire them. So you have to be consistent in everything you do. So not only following your policies and procedures, but I touched on your training. Your training is the fundamentals of, it's like the reading and writing that we learn in elementary school. The training is the fundamentals that you give your employees so they'll be successful. Even if you do not do a paper performance system like I do, you still have a system that is more informal. So your paper performance is complaints or compliments. You know, that's still a performance system. And if you don't give them the training that they deserve, consistently, it has to have a process to it. You know, it cannot be fly by night. If you don't give them that, then you shouldn't be expecting really anything out of them besides whatever your policies are. But they're at a disadvantage because you did not set up the foundation that basically you promised them when you hired them. <laughs>